Hey everybody, this is PJ Riley from Lancaster Archery. Got a product video for you today. We wanted to tell you about the brand new Scott Apex thumb button release. Great new trigger that came out from Scott Archery this year and they put a lot of thought into this release to make it function the way uh, any target archer or bow hunter. They basically took a lot of the target archery principles and put it into this release. Make it great for bow hunters, but this is going to be a good target archery thumb button as well. So first off, uh, it is a brass release, but it's nickel plated. So you get the benefits of that heft of the brass. You can feel this, feels good in your hand. But then the nickel plating is going to protect the brass. Um, sometimes when it gets really hot and humid, the brass can get gummy. So that nickel plating is going to protect you from that. So that's a real nice feature there. And then first thing you're going to notice about this thing besides the, after the heft is that design there. You can see that it kind of slopes down. Uh, you've got more release under your index finger than the others. And what I noticed is that at full draw, that just feels like that's where the pressure should be. It's got a lot of pressure on my index finger, makes it sit nice and comfortable in my hand. So having that extra beef here underneath your index finger, that's real comfortable. So this release does come in two sizes. I'm holding the large here. There's a medium as well. It's gonna be a little bit smaller than this. Uh, as we mentioned, it is a thumb button. So this is your trigger and it's got a real nice cocking me mechanism here. It's in a great position. So you would do that to cock, press the trigger to activate. But where they have this cocking mechanism, when you're, you know, target archer on the line, you don't even want to think about that. And the position where they have it, it's just positioned perfectly that you just hit it without even thinking about it. You're not fumbling around for it. You take your shot, come back to it, find it, hook up, and go. It's a real nice position for that cocking mechanism. I like how it sticks up like that. Now, you may have noticed the hook. It is an open style hook and the hook is auto return. So once you shoot it, that hook is always going to go back into position. You do have to cock it, of course, to get it to stay. But it's nice knowing that that hook, you don't have to manually flip it over with your finger like you do on a lot. It's just going to go back into position all the time. So that's a nice feature. The release comes as a three finger release. The third finger here, uh, it is movable. So um, you can see I've got it positioned like that. There is a small Allen screw right in there that if I loosen that, then I can sweep this finger wherever I want. I can push it all the way up if I want the release to have a faster feel to it, or I can sweep it back if I like a slower rotation of my hand there. So that's a great um, customization feature to this release. You can remove that finger altogether and shoot it as a two finger, or in the packet, you also get a finger extension that would make this release a four finger handle. So you can pick how you want to shoot it, two finger, three finger, four finger. It's up to you how you want to shoot it. You're also going to get a second thumb barrel. So you've got the big thick one here, or if you like a thinner one, you can swap those out. Incidentally, on the thumb barrel, you've got many adjustments here. So you've got these two screws here. If I loosen them up, I can sweep this trigger forward or back to get it where I want. In here, there is another set screw and I can spin this barrel left or right. Again, all to get this trigger set exactly where you want it when you activate your release. Um, now, the, one of the best features of this release, you've got independent adjustment screws for trigger travel and trigger tension. So you're going to turn the release in this orientation. You're going to see two Allen screws, one there, one there. The bottom one here, this is for 
trigger travel. This is how much movement this trigger is going to have before the release fires. So you're going to turn this um, screw counterclockwise to increase the amount of travel. Clockwise decreases the travel. And right now I have it set to where there's basically no travel. It is super crisp. This thing fires with almost no movement. You can set it like that, or if you like a longer uh, move, you can do that as well. Counterclockwise, increase travel. Clockwise, decreases travel. Now, up on the top here, you have another screw. This one is your tension. So you're going to turn it clockwise to increase the amount of tension. That's the amount of pressure you have to put on this um, on the trigger to get it to fire. You're going to go counterclockwise to make it lighter. And when you have this thing set nice and light, I mean, it's just a little bit of pressure and this goes off. It's a super crisp trigger. I really like that about it, that there's not any play in it, not any slop. If you reduce the travel and set it super light, man, it just, it's just a natural um, pulling back of the release will set that to go off. So lots of great customizing features in the Scott Apex. It feels great in your hand, functions great. It's got all those adjustments to get it to fit your hand perfectly. Scott Archery really hit a home run with the Scott Apex. All right, so that is the Apex thumb button release, brand new from Scott Archery this year. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like it, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to click that bell to get notifications whenever we put out new videos. And as always, if you have any questions, you can visit us at LancasterArchery.com. <laughs>